Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel, Vaughn Marie here. So today is February 1st and that means it's a Colorful Life Designs new February release. I am going to be making a card with the layered candles stencil here. This is the card I made for the release, for a sample. And um, I used this stamp timber set from Hero Arts with Simon Says Stamp. And I used those dies to put this card together, as well as the Stamp Market Ink Cube Bundle. I will have everything listed in my um, description box if it is available. Um, on the stencils, it has the name so you know where to line it up. So that's what I was looking for. Um, I am just going to... I try and uh, do a pattern of diagonal and um, I skip around in colors. So that is me. I do that a lot. <laughs> so um, these colors are so pretty. I looked at the stamp market and I don't think I seen them like this, but I will try and see what I find so I can link it down below. I'm sure they have these colors still. So I love birthday cards. I hope you love birthday cards because that's what this release is about. Um, I had so much fun putting all these cards together, my card samples, and um, I hope you enjoy it. It's really easy to uh, make cards using stencils. Um, Mary Kay always does an amazing job with the releases. And I will have my coupon code at the end of the video. I will also have in the description. It's VaughnFan10 for 10% off your purchase. So I am just using these small um, blending brushes um, from Tailored Expressions. They help me get in the grooves. I also purchased some small detail brushes that I will have to try out from the stamp market. I should have used them for this video, but I forgot. <laughs> and uh, so just um, doing an A2 card. This is Hammer Mill cardstock. And you can get this cardstock at Simon Says Stamp or Amazon. So I am heavy handed because this pink is really, really light and I want it to be a little darker. So I thought it was a fun color combo to do. I like when um, ink cubes have the colors together so there's less thinking involved. So I'm just gonna run my panel through my die cutting machine using the biggest rectangle die there. So there it is. I am going to die cut a circle so I can stamp that candles image. And then this is a frame that I will ink blend using the pink ink from the ink cube bundle. So I'm using my Misty with my favorite things, black ink. So I am just going to be Copic coloring this image using colors to match my panel. That I colored it a little different from my first card, but I still used the same colors, kind of. It's, it's a fun birthday set. I'll have to use other images from it. So here it is. I'm just going to ink blend it. It's pretty boring, so I just, I end up cutting some of this part out. I hope you are all doing well and staying healthy. I am so happy spring is coming here in California. It's in the 60s, so I can't really complain. I love warm weather, though. Um, 
70s, 80s. I love it. Anything hotter is way too hot for me, and where I live, it gets over 100 in the summer, so yeah. <laughs> That's when I stay inside with the air conditioner. Okay, so almost done. This card's coming together really fast. Some of my markers have been dry, and so I need to <laughs> refill them or get some refills. So just coloring it up to match. I have so many favorites in this release too. I love layering with the stencils. And they are labeled too, like one and two. So it's really easy. And I do ink blend another panel for the inside of my card that you'll see in just a bit. So I should do that all the time for all my cards, but I get lazy. And I guess I left a lot of this coloring in. <laughs> and then I will, once I'm colored, once I colored this image, I will pop it up with foam tape. And I think it cut it off my video when I was adding the foam tape in my sequins, but I will show you what it looks like. It was really simple. And these sequins I've had in my stash, so I'm, I think I had a friend make them for me, make the set. So here's the inside, and I'm just doing pink candles, and and then I'll use that yellow for the flame. And those are the sequins there. And I will put them on with on point glue. I love that glue for adding embellishments. So I'm trying to line it up. It's really simple, but I don't know, it took me a while and it was loud in my house. I couldn't concentrate. <laughs> I have kids and a dog and it was going crazy. They were going crazy running around having fun, but I was trying to make my video. <laughs> and that's why I think I go out of order sometimes in my coloring or ink blending. <laughs> I need like a studio just for me. <laughs> okay, so that is my panel. I use those, just the yellow and I think the clear. Added it with my Trinity stamps tool. And I'm just going to add it to an E2 Nina 110 solar white um, card base with my glue, my liquid glue. And then I will just add the inside panel as well. So pretty. I, I really like the inside also. I hope you like my card. How it came out is really easy. I hope you get the stencil or get a lot of these stencils from the new release. They are fabulous. And thank you for stopping by. Thank you for subscribing and liking my videos. I really appreciate it. And I will be back soon with another card video. Have a great day.